guys i hope you're all having an amazing 2020 so far i hope it's treating you well i am here today with a small idea i would like to start a little vlogging series for getting back into all things health and fitness and just being really motivated and really excited to train and eat well and just feel really good for 2020 and i thought we could do it together because if i'm perfectly honest for at least the last six months i've just not felt very motivated with training or exercise not eating or anything i'm just kind of like really down and in a rut with my training which sucks and it can happen to anyone and i know it's really relatable so i thought let's do it together because we can all have a clue of what to do we'll all have this great plan set out for ourselves and then a tiny little setback happens and it just kind of snowballs and then before you know it you're out of routine and you're upset again and i know that i feel so good in routine so that's what i'm trying to build myself back up to i'm actually gonna have to put the camera down because apart from the fact i'm shaking it like my arm's tired already and if that doesn't tell you anything so yeah just to elaborate a little bit more obviously i have trained since i was around 17 so that's about six years now i've done all sorts of training i know what i like i know what i don't like I just like exercising, that's what I found out. I don't really care, I like to exercise and I know what food to eat which makes us happy and I know how much sleep I should get, I know. But for whatever reason, it's just not really gelled together for the past few months and it can happen to anyone. And most good things happen because you're consistent and determined, not because you're motivated. Because you're not gonna wake up every day motivated, that just doesn't happen. Nobody is like that, I can promise you that. But people are dedicated to the cause. So it doesn't matter if you wake up in the morning and you're like, I am so pumped to go to the gym. This is gonna be the best workout ever, I'm so motivated. Or if you wake up in the morning and you're like, I hate the world, I'm gonna go back to sleep. It doesn't matter how you wake up, if you go and get what you need to get done, done, then that's how you make progress. All the fitness people you follow on Instagram are not motivated all the time. They've just got a lot of determination and grit. Anyway, personally for me, it's gotten to the point where about five minutes before a CrossFit class, I'll start feeling physically sick and worried and sad and upset. And it's a horrible, horrible feeling. I just park my car and I'm like, I can't do it. I don't want to do it. I hate this. I hate exercise. Why am I even here? I want to go back home. And then half the time I will do the class and half the time I just won't do the class because I'm so worried about it. But when I do actually do the class, I have the best time. At the end of it, I'm like, I'm so happy. I'm full of endorphins. And I don't know why it's happening. I don't know why my brain is literally saying, oh, you don't like exercise because I know that I do. Like the proof is in the pudding that every time I exercise, I feel so much better afterwards. So it's kind of just making sure that I personally stick to a routine. And if I stick to the routine and I'm exercising frequently, then I'm gonna feel so much better. It just makes sense. So anyway, I made some fitness goals to stick to this year so that I stick to them so that I feel better about absolutely everything in my life, fingers crossed. And I wrote them on Jake's iPad so they looked really pretty. So I'm gonna get them up with my laptop. Almost here, two seconds, let's get it. Ooh, it's a coming. Accept opening photos. Perfect. Uh, what? What? Help. Ah. Okie dokie, out of chokey. Can I zoom in? <gasps> so I can. So, these are my 2020 goals. Will they be back to front? I'm not sure. Probably, I can't imagine. Anyway, I'm going to read them up. So my first goal for 2020 is stick to training and meal plan for 12 weeks. So that's from the 6th of Jan to the 23rd of March. I'm not going to be a natty with myself about this. Like, obviously there's going to be birthdays and there's going to be things that are happening. So obviously I know that I'm not going to be able to 100% stick to it. But if I can stick to it for 90% of the time, that's better than sticking to it for no percent of the time. The meal plan is mainly because Jake has to lose weight for a judo competition and also it's going to be a really hard period of uni for the next 12 weeks for both of us. So we thought if we have a meal plan, then we're having the same meal every, not every day, but we're having the same meals every week. So the really quick, easy meals that we can replicate and it's like, Cooking food doesn't take up that much time, so we've got more time to do other things. That's mainly what the meal plan is for. And then my training plan is 
four CrossFit sessions, one short ab session and one glute day. The four CrossFit sessions, they are really hard until I get into it. So after about a month, I'll find them quite easy so I can implement other things in. And the short ab session, hello. I'm gonna stick in a short ab session after a CrossFit workout, like a 10, 15 minute thing. But to be fair, I never actually really do stick to training abs. So I thought if I can stick to training one, ab session a week for 12 weeks that's got to do something surely and then obviously i added one glute day in a week just because i really enjoy training glutes like i just really enjoy training those exercises like i don't do it in a plan and i know that if i train in a plan it would make more progress and it would be better but i'm not really asked about progress pro asked that's funny because i'm talking about glutes but I'm not really that bothered because I just kind of like I really enjoy doing pose squats and I really enjoy doing RDLs and I really enjoy doing hip thrusts so I really really enjoy doing them at the gym so I thought one session a week for things that I really enjoy and then I've also got in run more often get back to a sub five minute kilometer now um I really like running running makes us happy can you see the theme here like I really enjoy exercise all types of exercise because they all bring kind of different highs and all I really want to do is get back into enjoying it and not saying no so that's my main goals are being like enjoy yourself and have fun and then my last one is spend 15 to 20 minutes after at least one crossfit session per week working on my weaknesses my weaknesses are push-ups pull-ups I'm pretty sure there's like a list of a thousand. We don't have enough time to go through all of my weaknesses, but there's no time for judgment on my channel. <laughs> um, and you will notice that none of my goals are about my body shape or my weight or about anything like that. And I'm gonna have a quick explanation as to why, and this is gonna be kind of like the basis for this series. This is my theory. If you set a goal such as, I want to lose one stone compared to I want to train four times a week. If you get to that goal, you lose your one stone. You get to that goal and you're like, right, well, I've lost that, so I want to lose more. And then it's a, you're never going to be happy. You're going to look in the mirror and you're going to be like, right, well, I've lost a stone, but my shoulders still look horrible. Oh, I've lost a stone and I'm going to lose two stones. So I've lost two stone. Oh, my legs still look ugly. And it kind of like, I, personally for me, I just feel like, nothing ever good happens because of that. I just think when you have goals that are kind of weight or body based, you're always going to end up picking something wrong with yourself. Whereas if you do a goal of going to the gym four times a week, well, if you go to the gym four times a week for 12 weeks, then be like, that's, a, that's great. I'm really proud of myself. Let's just make these harder. So like, let's make one workout harder a week. Let's see if I can improve in this specific area you can kind of just improve your fitness and along with improving your fitness and having a good diet your body will change obviously i feel like if i stick to this training plan i'm gonna get leaner i'm gonna get toned i'm probably gonna lose weight maybe i'll gain weight it depends how much i'm eating and i'm not really thinking about my body i know that when i exercise and eat well my body's gonna look better um but these are more rewarding goals if i'm running under five minutes per kilometer i'm gonna be really happy i'm gonna be like wow i'm so fast can i get faster it's kind of like a good like you're never gonna feel upset with yourself i'm gonna come in from a run and i'm gonna look at myself in the mirror and i'm gonna be like holy shit your whole outfit's drenched in sweat good job proud of you i'm not gonna look at myself and be like i need to lose a little bit i need ooh, an inch could come off here so yeah my whole thought process was that i could take you guys with us once or twice a week to the gym, show you the meals we eat and kind of how I'm staying motivated, what I'm using to be motivated and things like that. And it's just a way that we can all kind of check in with each other and you can share ideas in the comments and stuff. And we can basically all just get motivated together and have like a really nice, healthy, positive 2020 where we'll get really strong, we'll get really fit, we can lose weight, we can gain weight, whatever we want to do to make us happy and us healthier people. Jake's going to be back soon and when he comes back I will take you guys along with me to the gym, well along with us because you know kind of like a pair and we do everything together and we'll go through like a really nice easy, not easy but you know what I mean like a nice and gentle full body workout, get all sweaty, it's going to be a nice workout where we're not going to have horrendous doms for weeks after, it's just going to be a workout where we're going to get a bit sweaty, we're going to do the whole body so the whole body kind of like wakes up and it's ready for 2020. 
I've just made a pre-gym snack which I thought it would be appropriate to share because why not? Because it's kind of a vlog, right? So it's just peanut butter and banana on toast and I'm really excited about it. Never used to like peanut butter. I thought it was a bit too dry in your mouth. But then I tried it on toast with banana and Bob's your uncle. Best snack ever. Okay, so to walk you through our workout, we started with some bear crawls. Uh, so with bear crawls, points to note, keeping the back flat and basically you're crawling along the floor, keeping your shins parallel. Um, little step, taking little steps with your hands and feet. And alternate hand to foot, so if your left hand moves, your right foot moves forward. The second exercise we did to warm up was inchworms. <laughs> And we both did these a little bit differently because some of us can do press-ups and some of us can't. Yeah, so um, I, I get quite stiff shoulders, so I like to do a press-up at the bottom of my um, inchworm. But the general gist of an inchworm is you have a slight bend in your knees, so you put a bit of tension in your hamstrings. Um, you break at the hips, keeping as flat a back as possible. And you walk your hands out um, until you're in the high plank or press-up position. You can either do or not do a press up, and then you slowly um, walk your feet well, in you, towards your hands. Usually, you would walk your hands back in towards your feet, but we were going forward, so we just walked our feet in towards our hands. I mean, it's, it's either or. The next exercise we did to warm up were lunges with a slight back bend. Mm -hmm. So, like this one, we just got uh, nice parallel shins uh, on the front foot. Push the hips down so you could feel it in your hip flexor and just reach back. And just stretch all the way back. Don't go crazy with this one just because you're not entirely warm and you can't hurt your back. It's kind of like loosening yourself up. The next exercise we did to warm up were lizard lunges. Obviously, as you can see, you're just kind of bringing your foot, like you kind of, you start in a plank position and then you bring one foot as far oh forward as you can. So if that's like to your hand or past your hand or not to your hand, and we just alternated with them. We did 20 reps of that in total, so that's 10 each leg. And then we moved on to the workout. For the main workout, we just kind of did a little bit of everything. Everything wasn't too intense, like we'd just try to get like every single muscle kind of warmed up, be like, hello, we're here, we're ready to train again. And yeah, so we started with the front squat. Uh, we did five by five um, at a weight where on the fifth rep, we were kind of really pushing to get there. And we did it every two minutes. That's more of a CrossFit style thing, but it, it, it works to make sure you regulate your rest. Yeah, it means that you're not waiting too long and that you're just getting a lot of work done in a shorter period of time. We also warmed up five minutes before we started the five by five. Uh, and then we moved into bent over rows uh, with the barbell while it was still out. And that was three, three by 10. Um, I did three by eight, Jake did three by 10 because he didn't put enough weight on the bar, he took too much off. So we did that every minute and a half. Now this is kind of a CrossFit way of doing things, but it makes sense just if you have a timer on your phone, just to set a time so that you're just getting the work done quicker. So I did three by eight, Jake did three by 10, I kind of a week where the last two reps are a little bit of a strug. And then we went into dumbbells. And then we did these really, really nice curls where we just looked lovingly into each other's eyes and bicep curled. And it wasn't all bad at all, but hey. Um, we just did three sets of 16, so yeah. eight each arm. Like nice and controlled, nice and slow. The next exercise we did was a floor press, which is just a really interesting exercise. You yeah. hadn't tried this before. I, I'd, I'd, I'd seen it, but I hadn't done it before. And uh, I thought it was, because it was taking a range of motion out, I didn't think it was going to be as effective as it was, but it was It was really it's hard. It's really hard, yeah. So we did this in a you go, I go style, which again is CrossFit, but it's good for when you're working with a partner because you do your reps and while you're resting, your partner does their reps and it's just a really good way to get work done. Again, faster than you would just be like lazing around the gym and being yeah. like, okay, he has five minutes, 10 minutes, 15 minutes break. Yeah, I, I think the thing with um, these methods of keeping track of your rest is like you're not you're not going on your phone, you're not scrolling through Instagram for two and a half minutes between sets. In this exercise, the first set we did eight reps, but then the next two sets we did 10 reps because we just felt like we'll get a little bit more out of yeah. ourselves. I kind of finish her. Again, it was, it was pretty much whole body. 
Uh, it was an absolute killer. Well, it shouldn't have been a killer because this was supposed to be a nice, gentle way to ease yourselves back into work now. So I got an 8 kilogram dumbbell, Jake got a 32 kilogram dumbbell, <laughs> you just do what you gotta do, do you know what I'm saying? So this was a nice little finisher. It was five rounds of 10 CrossFit kettlebell swings where you put the kettlebell above your head and reverse lunges, so it was five each leg. So just five rounds of 10 reps of each exercise, nice and easy at a weight where you're just like going through the motions, your body's waking up. Jake just decided to do it like RX. hard and heavy. Yeah. It was not easy peasy lemon squeezy. It, it was, was lemon difficult difficult lemon. Lemon, lemon difficult. difficult 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 citrus. Difficult difficult lemon difficult, there you go. That was our little workout that we did together and it was really good and we really enjoyed it. And now we're gonna really have some tea. So I hope that was a nice introduction to this new series. I'm kind of just gonna randomly bring you along on random days where I'll be doing different things each time. Just kind of giving you updates, seeing how things are going, seeing what's working for us, finding new diet things and giving you tips wherever. So I'll put recipes in these vlogs, I'll put workouts in these vlogs and it'll just be a really fun way to catch up and, and stay motivated to be really good to ourselves in 2020. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you have a lovely day. See you later. Bye.